Edinburgh is still covered in the remains of what was violent philosophers. It seems unlikely they will cause us further trouble, for now at least. On a more positive note, our talented crafters have achieved making flawless male armour, to which Geoffrey and Hrothgar were very keen to test. Very fancy. That also must be steel as the metal material. Our armourers have outdone themselves. Sigmund, having retired from tournament bouts, has now become our community trader. He makes long distance travel to see some of our further afield neighbours. His trade runs prove highly beneficial as he manages to find us an apothecary bench, saving us valuable research time and providing us access to real modern medicine. The benefits of this technology cannot be overlooked. We will now not only be able to heal wounds more quickly, but our community will also be able to develop their medical skills by manufacturing healing kits. A simple healing kit can be made by anyone or level one and only requires some herbs. A healing kit will require more medical knowledge at level 10 and will use both textiles like linen and herbs. The advanced healing kit will use herbs, textiles and disinfectant such as pure alcohol and will require very high medical skill at level 30. The research cost savings can now be spent elsewhere. We learned Furniture 3, allowing us to be able to upgrade our great hall to have finely crafted wooden furniture. These quality chairs will be padded with fine linen, making a much more comfortable seating arrangement. The Great Hall may finally begin to live up to the greatness we originally planned for it. The Church of Restitution Crypt continues to be a fairly surgical operation. We finally get round to adding a stairway on the west. Sigmund's merchant skills prove useful again as he manages to find us an advanced brewery technology, again saving our researchers. We can now make ale, meat and beer. Meat will be an excellent use for all the honey we get from our bees down below. I arrange stockpiles for barley and honey to be stored next to the distillery. We'll also do the fermentation here, in the cartography room. As we drift into autumn, it's again time to begin closing all the windows. We finish the new furniture in the Great Hall. There is still more work to do to improve the Great Hall though. As Kyle recovers from his heat stroke, 
you begin to see more progress on the barracks. As we pass through another year, it's once again time to change into winter clothes and to light up the braziers once again. It's long overdue that we upgrade this old cobble wall into something more modern. After a substantial amount of surgical work, the crypt was finally beginning to see an end. When the people of Edinburgh eventually pass away, their legacy will be stored and remembered here. We learn swords and have our blacksmiths begin to forge steel longswords for Geoffrey and Rothgar. These deadly melee weapons will be too dangerous to use for tournament bouts, but will make our rivaling champions deadly on the battlefield. That rainy evening in autumn, a new enemy approached Edinburgh. The looters, a ragged bunch of wild pillagers. We prepared to meet them in the field.
can learn from each battle, and using the approach route the lures came from, we will set traps for our next adversary. The south is quickly becoming highly fortified. It looks like our medical resources are paying off, as our infirmary is empty. Minor wounds must have already been treated. Some pyres here will serve to both send off our enemies into the afterlife and to give distraction to invading forces who will likely try and target and destroy them. It looks like Rothgar and Jeffrey are still quite evenly matched. Our medics should have them back on their feet soon. Their skill level continues to grow in tandem with each other. That autumn we finished the barracks and the rest of the south walls. Our construction projects this year have been extensive and it seems we have exhausted our limestone brick supplies in the process. We will need to wait for supplies to grow before beginning any more major construction projects. In the late autumn we discovered a young bear in the area. A man having been focusing on animal handling recently is confident she can tame this wild and powerful animal. An interesting prospect for sure. We do not have the material to build, but we can certainly landscape and prepare the land. To speed up steel forging, we stockpile steel ingots next to the forges. That evening, another refugee, Idrid, has come to Edinburgh seeking safety. His pursuers are our old nemesis, the Ravagers. It's a big bonus that Idrid Thorell is a passionate marksman, cook and constructor. As we have seen this year, Edinburgh needed more constructors. We welcome Idrid to the community. His perks only make him better as a sun seeker, a sense of fairness and a disciplined astureness. We must quickly finish the walls before the Ravagers come. We give Idrid a crossbow and some fine clothes. We scan the perimeter for any points of weakness. We prepare the crypt for whatever may happen in the coming days, and we pray. The 
deadly steel longswords are ready. Geoffrey and Rothgar arm themselves with superior Edinburgh steel. <laughs> 